At NASA Ames Research in Moffett Field, California, researchers have upped the ante on how people might one day communicate with each other and with machines. These robotic rovers are being controlled with a communications method that seems more like telepathy than telephony. NASA calls it subvocal speech. By use of special sensors that interpret muscle signals in the larynx and tongue, these technicians are able to maneuver the rovers by silently voicing certain commands. What's going on here is sometimes confused with people with reading your thoughts. We're not really reading your thoughts. We're reading the result of a conscious decision to say a word. So what's happening here is Pavel is thinking of a word, and as he thinks of that word, it's transformed into a series of signals that are going down his nervous system to his vocal tract, either in his throat or under his tongue. These signals are being picked up and displayed on the screen. A computer programmed to recognize the signals as individual words can then send those words via a wireless network to a machine, like a robot, or to a handheld device. Fire clear. NASA is developing subvocal technology for use by astronauts, firefighters, soldiers in battle, and others who work in noisy environments where speech communication may be difficult. Personally, I'm excited about the possibility that we may enable a whole new way for humans to communicate with their world. With technology that reads signals sent directly from the brain, how long will it be before we create telephones that can be embedded directly into our heads? Would you want a cell phone implanted inside your tooth? No matter how small they get, is there still a, a particular comfort level in being able to hold a device as opposed to having one implanted inside you? So I think people will always want to have the sensation of being in control by holding something. And that something? is the telephone.